What's up guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. So uh, this week we're going to cover you know, some things and I think this is really in the beginning of relationships. So for all you beginners out there, all you people that are looking for relationships, these tips and tricks are going to be designated for you guys. Okay? Or if you have to go back in that world of dating and stuff like that, this will help you. Okay, so every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. Um, you know, whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. And that's what we're here for. Mm -hmm. Because we have went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we want to give you guys the shortcuts and the answers to most of you guys' questions that maybe are unanswered, right? Yeah, I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you. So we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so we're gonna cover two tips and tricks for you guys this week. Uh, and the first one is introducing your partner, right? Mm. So I am at fault for this in the mm -hmm. beginning of our relationship. I <laughs> we would be talking or go up to somebody that I knew or whatever. And at that point, I wouldn't introduce Sharice right away. How dare you? Um, you know, <laughs> and it <laughs> what wasn't, I look like. Yeah, it wasn't that I, I didn't want to introduce Sharice as my partner or show her off as my girlfriend or whatever it was at the time. It was, you know, I, it was either honestly I was just in passing. I thought it was just gonna be, hey, how you doing? And, and, and walk right by, or I. In, in all honesty, I might have not remembered these people's names at that point in time. Mm -hmm. And I felt embarrassed at that because I don't like that. I usually remember people's names and faces. But there are, have been some circumstance where I, I don't yeah. know who the hell I'm I talking mean, in, to. I mean, in that, in that, those particular circumstances, I made sure that John <laughs> was able to remember their names because then I would introduce myself. I would just... And I'd be like, hi, I'm Sharice. <laughs> nice to meet you. And then I would do this thing and shrug his shoulder. And that would be like my cue as, are you kidding me right now? Oh. <laughs> so it's like, okay, you got you to gotta start thinking now. Okay, all right. So why did he not introduce me, right? And all kinds of things, especially us crazy women, we think all kinds of crazy things, right? Whether, uh, oh, he must be ashamed of me. Uh, this might be somebody that he likes. It might be a female. Now, this oh, was the worst thing for a female, and I'm going to go ahead and drop it in this episode. But it was the worst thing when he did this with a female friend. And the reason why was because I was just like, do you not want them to know that you're with me? I mean, because then this, th this led to more problems more problems because then they didn't know and then if something happened let's just say that they happened to get a little extra feely that day never they wouldn't have known never. that i was his girlfriend that's not true okay so <laughs> at that point in time there was social media it was like facebook at the time that was a big thing and we were in myspace too we were in oh, MySpace. MySpace. so we myspace originally our relationship so yeah. you know your top eight your top 16 where Therese was number one on that mm -hmm. and people knew my, her pictures were on my page and stuff like that so I, and i was in a relationship with Therese <laughs> once we decided that so at that point i was not trying to hide anything now maybe <laughs> some guys do i i don't know you know there's there's differences in guys out there in the way they treat their girls or way that they act mm -hmm. so at that point i can't stick up for everybody but i know for myself because i lived the the you know the person the minute to minute uh situation that we we're in at that point so at that point i, I just really 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 want to make sure that you guys don't do this don't make the mistake that i did right yeah. that Learn was a good topic that he came up with today because that was a huge deal with us and yeah. i want to say i mean it didn't last forever thank god because i mean when i tell you even after he would introduce me because i would do the shoulder thing <laughs> after it was it was it, you might as well have not because i had to do the shoulder thing i had to do the shoulder thing so we go home and we fight about it people fight yes See, we fought. Yep, yep, we fought yep, every yep, once yep, in a blue yep, moon, you yep, know. Yep, yep. But this was, you know, that was one of my biggest pet peeves yep. because, you know, he would run into a friend that he's known for 10 years, okay? You would think, oh, here, this is Cherise. Oh, no. I mean, you can't even say this is Cherise. You don't even have to say, this is my girlfriend, Cherise. This is my wife, Cherise. This is my fiance, Cherise. It doesn't matter. This is just Cherise. Instead, it was like he's like literally because he's such a big guy even then. He would like like step over me and be like, "What's up?" And I'm like, "Hello, <laughs> am I like a shadow on the wall?" Hi, I'm over here. Me. <laughs> Who can miss her? Okay. Hello. Come on. Either way, I didn't have to introduce her. You know? Yeah, you did. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> so you guys learn from this mistake. Move on past it if you guys do argue or fight about this. Learn from the mistake out there, whether you're a guy or a girl, because I've, I've seen this happen on girls too, mm-hmm. right? Same thing. Um, so at that point, learn from your mistakes, move on, grow, right? And you guys will be a stronger couple. You guys will stop arguing about this, and you guys will be happier, mm-hmm. hopefully, in this section mm-hmm. anyway. So the next thing is... Including your significant other or a person you're dating or whatever it is, um, you know, in your activities with your friends, mm-hmm. what you're doing out, you know, let them, you know, know, unless you're embarrassed, you got something to hide. You really do want them to meet your friends or your family and you want them to like them, hopefully, uh, at that point. So it's smooth, you know, what's going on every day to day. Mm-hmm. Um, and you're not worried about what they're doing out there. And, and you know, it, it really does show a big step in the direction of a relationship if you do include them. For sure. They feel like they're included. They're happier about that. They don't want to wonder what's going on or what's he doing or why hasn't he included me with this yeah, or why, why wasn't doesn't he I do invited? this. Now, I didn't do this. No, so you didn't. I, I'm, not, I'm not guilty of this. <laughs> but, uh, so, you know, at that point, you guys should make sure that you guys are because that's what a relationship is. You guys are building together and you guys are growing together and you guys want to have the same interest <laughs> as each other, mm-hmm. right? Because this will make a relationship stronger. You guys will have more things in common. You guys will like the different things and hopefully you become stronger with their friends and their family. Now, if the friend doesn't like you, mm-hmm. okay, now this has probably happened to everybody out there. Uh-huh. You know, at that point, That's happened to us too. you can't let that get inside your relationship. It's going to be you two versus the world. Hey, that was us in the beginning, too. It, it was. People try to separate us. I, I mean, no big time. For sure. Especially with, like, you know, him being Greek, and I'm not Greek. So, you know, with us not, you know, not him not marrying into a Greek, it was a pretty big deal. And it was everybody. And I, I hope they all see this episode. Okay? What's that big deal? Uh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. So I hope we all see this episode now, because I'm sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, made it through. Um, <laughs> but it was beat down city, you know? And I really think that you, that, honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. Sure. That is the truth. For it sure. is the truth. For really. sure. You guys will go through these, these bonding experiences, whether they're good or bad. Mm-hmm. Um, and you guys will have this experience together. And that will bring you closer one way or another. Mm-hmm. You know, even if at the end you guys don't like each other to that point. You guys went through this experience and you guys have shared this. It's still a bonding experience. So... Yeah, it was, it was just crazy. So make sure you guys are including them. Make sure you guys are having the same interests or trying to trying to develop the same interests. I was going to say, because even if yeah. you don't, let's just say that he invites you, let's just say, to a football game, right? right? And let's say you don't like football. You could not include yourself and not go. That's fine, too. Right. Um, or you can just go and try to enjoy your time with one another right. or the group of friends that he's with. Right. Maybe you don't like one of his friends. That happens often, too. This is true. Now th- I, I mean, and yeah. Like the girl friends. Uh, you know, it's, that happens all the time, right? Whether, you know, he, oh, he doesn't like me, she doesn't like him, whatever it might be. And then you just have to adapt because it's, you know, it is what it is regardless. So whether you, I, I can't even remember how many times I've said it. Yeah. <laughs> whether you like me or not, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> so you better learn to like me. <laughs> That's what it is too. I mean, you know, you don't want uh, outside influences coming inside mm-hmm. your relationship. Mm-hmm. That's why, I, you know, I think we've talked about it before. Maybe we'll cover it again, you know, about outside influences. You telling them kind of what's going on in your relationship or making the the partner seem really really bad in that circumstance because you're upset with them or they've done something wrong and mm-hmm. you just don't like it at that point in time but you might have feelings that change and in those feelings when they change then you're you're going to be telling your your friend and they're going to be like no he's a bad dude or a girl you know she's whatever bad. It is. yeah she's yeah. bad and, and it just is what it is you're going to be facing an uphill battle mm-hmm. and it's just better not to do that try to settle your differences between you guys keep it in the house in the mm-hmm. home you know unless it's abusive or anything like that don't do that but right. You know, if it's if it's just regular quarrels or you're going to have arguments, every healthy relationship will have arguments. Mm-hmm. It just is what it is. You have to, you know, find a common ground, compromise, get over it, and move on and progress. So these are just two tips and tricks. And I guess, you know, you know the second tip and trick goes along for all relationships, too. As oh, well. for sure. And for the sure. first tip and trick goes along for all relationships, <laughs> too. Because I do know some husbands out there. They have been with their yeah. wives for who knows how true. long, I, okay? I, Let's just say they yeah. don't go out all the time together yeah. like me and John do. Yeah. And all of a sudden, they have this wonderful event they go to together. Yeah. And because he's never with her, yeah. he forgets. Yeah. He's like, oh, just forgot. Yeah. Don't forget. Yeah. Or okay? you're usually never with me, honey. <laughs> That's a totally good excuse. It is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> so oh you guys learn from the mistakes that maybe we've made or other people have made 
Take it into your knowledge using your arsenal. So this has been another Cupid's Corner with me and Sharice. Yes. You guys make sure you tune in to us every Sunday, ABC, if you guys are here in Florida, 11 a.m., or you guys can find it on our YouTube page, Titan Medical Center, or our Facebook page, okay? Titan Medical Center. You guys can see us every week with a new Cupid's Corner, bring you guys these awesome tips and tricks that you guys can utilize to benefit your relationship and spark and ignite that flame that maybe has went low or dim or maybe out. All right, guys. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you again. See you next Sunday.